This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here. Day one of Fight Week, Serrano Cruz, Alicia Baumgartner. How are you? Blessed, thankful, ready to fight. Um, I want to pick something up with you. I remember there was a time where you were messaging Eddie Hearn, pestering him for that Terry Harper shot. Now you sit on the verge of being the undisputed champion of the world. Just how surreal and good is that for you? Man, I was just thinking about that the other day. I'm like, started with the DM, now we're here. You know what I mean? And I just, and I stayed persistent. I knew what I wanted and again just to see everything unfold and everything that I spoke about it's happening and it's a blessing so you know the word speaks power okay undisputed Saturday night what do you know of your opponent won a few rounds against Delphine Bassoon out in Dubai um, that was the only loss that she's picked up as a as a professional uh, what do you make of her you know, she's a tough opponent. She's ready to fight, but Delphine and I are two different fighters. I'm well experienced, 21 years in the game. I'm ready to fight and show why I am who I am and why I will be undisputed come this Saturday. How does this fight go? How have you trained for this fight to go? Do you, do you have a vision in your head of, of how Saturday night? Yeah, it plays over and over. Um, this camp has been amazing. It's been fun. And, you know, it's important that you have fun and enjoy what you're doing. And everything is on point. So I prepare very well for every style, any way that she's coming to fight. But I do see a knockout, and I don't know what round. Amanda Serrano is the main event. She takes on Erica Cruz. Um, I imagine you sort of will have one eye on that fight as well. I know they're looking for the Katie Taylor fight next, but I imagine you'll be ready to fight anyone and anywhere, and Serrano and Taylor, two big names that you'd be eager to get in with. Yeah, absolutely. Again, the sport is to be grown, and I'm here to make those challenging fights I would say and again just build the sport. I'm a competitor and I love to fight so anybody they put in front of me I will knock them down. Um, I imagine next that uh, undisputed fight rematch between Katie Taylor and Serrano will be made. Um, are you going to be pestering Eddie trying to get on that undercut? Absolutely you know <laughs> I've already had my talks with Eddie um, again we would love to fight back as soon as possible so however that looks I'll be well prepared. Michaela Mayer um, where are things now? Is the beef and the animosity still there as much as it was a couple of months back? I remember when I spoke to you out in Abu Dhabi and it was certainly still there. Since then, I think I saw a clip on social media emerge where she got some guys to pass you from flowers to the front. Where is it at now? You know, it, it, she's still brewing in her sorrows. I know, you know, every time she takes a sip of her coffee in the morning, it's, a hard, it's hard to swallow. But, um... She know this is a boxing game. You got to take your losses with your wins. And um, again, I'm all for the beef. I'm all for the excitement and the build-up. So if the rematch happens, it happens. You are the A side, um, so I suppose you can dictate the shots and call the tempo a little bit. Um, do you want the rematch personally? Um, it just depends. It, it depends on a lot of things, and, and that's the, the that's the business side of boxing. Again, they gave me a name to fight, and that was Michaela Mayer. I made sure that I beat her in her home, like in her backyard, on her, like whatever the case may be, I beat her. So what's next? Just lastly for me, we saw Sky Nicholson uh, last week out in Detroit with you uh, doing camp. How was that? How did you experience that? I imagine nice to have a, a familiar face with you and just pushing through the last couple of miles in camp. Yeah, I know. It was dope to have Sky there, you know, and just have her come down, finish the, the last few weeks of um, camp up. And it's just nice to have someone that's doing the same thing you're doing, motivate you and just encourage you along the way and having fun with it. Alicia, finally, what does the next 18 months hold for you? Is it undisputed here and then just pushing on to anything and everything in the world? Yeah, undisputed, pound for pound, moving up to 35, beating Katie Taylor, becoming undisputed at 135, shoot, going up to 140, maybe 147. The sky is the limit. I'm ready to do it all. <laughs> Alicia, thank you very much. See you tomorrow and all the best throughout the week. Thank